those maths because we don't really have sets anymore and we can be together and some of the people that are more confident can help out the people that aren't that confident like in maths and um, it also gives you a bit of challenge because we have this thing called super juicy maths and that um, basically means like we do investigations and we like have to say like say that Dora says that if you time something by a hundred you only add on two zeros which isn't exactly true so we have to write down an explanation and usually the the best one gets like five dojos so. Since year six White Rose Maths has helped me a lot because in year five as Neil said we had sets and I found that it was much harder and now that we're kind of mixed we can help each other more with White Rose, with White Rose, Rose Maths. Okay and um, what about the resources? Do you find them helpful? Oh definitely the place value because I'm, I'm I like to see things visually because I'm dyspraxic and um, basically it helps me out quite a lot just to look down and have a look at it and especially using the bar model a bit more as well as, and the uh, place value counters those those are really good also if you can't figure out something in your head it's also helpful to see it visually fantastic thank you girls okay Kian, and off you go I struggle to figure things out in my head but the White Rose Maths resources have really helped me to visualise it and to see how it works. Okay, and um, have you been enjoying maths more or less since using White Rose Maths? More, because it really, it, it's hard but when you get your head around it, it's really fun. Good, good. And, um, do you like that we spend quite a lot of time on the same kind of topic so that you develop your fluency? Yeah, because it once you've got a topic and you learn about it, you're ready to go on to the next one. And it's really fun. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank okay, you. guys, so tell me, how are you finding White Rose Maths so far? Well, I'm finding White Rose Maths really good because I can't really visualise stuff in my head because Every time I just think of it, it's just like this puff of wind just blows it away. So it's really hard for me when I don't have White Rose Maths. But now that I have it, I can just look it down on it, on a table, and figure it out step by step by step. Okay, so the resources are quite helpful for you, are they, Emmy? Yeah. Good. And Ryan, uh, you, you've come a long way so far in year six, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, your confidence, most definitely. So yeah. tell me a little bit about your experience with the new maps so far. Well, White Rose... Right, uh, white, <laughs> white rose maths. White rose maths has really helped me because in year five point three we had sets and that wasn't helping me. That was making my confidence less. Mm. So we were in sets and so now I've got harder work. It helps and but I we're in year four and we're really enjoying white rose maths because yeah. I'm more, we're more of a visual learners and white rose has helped. White rose maths has helped us a lot during our maths period now because. Old maths where we didn't have white rose, we didn't have really have a, a, a any time, time to explain to it, it. Explain it and, and see it. But but with white rose, we, we've got um, all the like number squares and the counters and stuff. So so now we can see how we're actually doing it. And are you enjoying white rose maths? Yes, yes definitely. Okay, so what year are you from, guys? We're from year three. Year three, okay. So, tell me about your maths learning now. Are you enjoying it? Yes. It's like um, when you last time we did like old maths, what so you can like visually see what we we're doing. So now we've got this white rose maths. We can see what um like we're doing. Like if um we're doing like hundred thousand tens of units, we can write it down on them. There's some things and what is it? We can work it out easily. Good, so you you find the resources quite helpful, do you? Yeah. Good. And what about you? Are you uh, finding the work challenging? Yeah, because we need to explain it. You find the explaining bit a bit more challenging, yeah? yeah. Uh, are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really good so far. And making it, you can see it, it's making it um, a bit easier but challenging. Good. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have Ruben and Dan. So, White Rose Maths, how's it going? Uh, I found White Rose Maths really, really, like, 
fun because it's a different type of maths because last year when we were just doing normal maths with our sets we did the teacher just puts questions on the board and we have to answer them but with white rose maths we have like these sheets and we have to like do problem solving and i just find it a lot of fun good and what about you Ruben? um i find it like really fun but then it's challenging at the same time um like seems daniel said like, last year <clears throat> we were doing recent problems like i didn't really get it that much but now we've got right rose yeah. right white rose maths and it, i find it really easy and hard. good and um we use a lot of the resources the manipulatives um to understand the, the concrete understanding behind it how are you finding that is that helpful uh, i find it helpful because we're using like these pots with counters in and we have these like place value sheets so if we're doing decimal placing and if we're times by 10 uh we just regroup or when we're just moving it all we have to do is move the counters to the left or if we're dividing move it to the right yeah um and what about the challenge? Uh, well, we're not in our sets anymore, so whilst doing our own way, we get to help other people who maybe aren't as good and struggle a bit. So I find it like, so it's challenging, and then it's even better because you get to help other people get better at the challenging maths. So, yeah, it's, I just love sets, I call it juicy. Juicy, <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Okay, so Ruby and Katie, uh, White Rose Maths, how are you finding it so far? It's really good. I think it's really helpful, especially for me, because I love the resources. When we started, I knew how to do column addition, but I didn't understand how it actually worked. So when we did it visually with the place value counters, it really helped me understand that. Um, and Katie, what about you? Because you've come a long way with maths. Well, in year five, when we were on sets, I didn't really, because I was in the top step, but I didn't really get what I was doing. And then when I went to year six, I wasn't really looking forward to doing maths, but then we got introduced to the White Rose Maths, and at the start I didn't really feel very confident with it, but then I did. Good, yeah, so it's taken time, isn't it? And what what is it that's helped you the most, do you think? Do you, is it maybe, I mean, we spend a lot of time on the same topic sometimes, so we can learn it deeper. Has that helped you? Lovely. So overall, are we enjoying maths more or less? I'm definitely enjoying it more. And you, Katie? A lot more. Good, lovely. Thank you, guys.